Cubs fam, we are back for another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. And my people, we are here to talk about Rey, the OP character of all OP characters. And I brought in the one and only Ranger from RSG to talk about this with you guys. Ranger, how you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. I know we're both suffering. <laughs> back is out. I basically yeah. have a hole the size of Texas in my hand from me doing my stuff. So both a little battered. Little bruised, but we're here. Little, little bruised, but we're here to talk about Ray. Are, we're not battered and bruised no. from Ray at all, or <laughs> a little bit, a little shell shocks, <laughs> little like trying to figure out what had happened was. Um, yeah. Ray came. And, uh, it's a new, it's a new era for the game. No Definitely a new that. era. I don't know if I've seen a character be this OP on day one. Uh, finding counters is very challenging. No. We do have a potential counter to share with you guys today to one of the better teams. And we'll talk about this. Um, here's Ray. Now, something that makes Ray very OP is this lifeblood ability, actually, because yeah. she will lose 25% health every time she uses this ability, which enables her to get to sudden whirlwind very quickly. And then because there's no cooldowns, once she gets there, she can just spam sudden whirlwind like crazy. And because her max health is so ridiculously high, um, she can be at 60% health or lower and have no problem. And then she can heal right back up. Um, so... Look at this team, Ranger. I want to talk about this team right here. Big thanks to Mall Pills for grabbing footage. This is Mall Pills team. And this team right here is being touted by many as actually one of the best defensive teams in the game right now. Yeah. And, and when you look at this 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 footage, this is a pretty decked out Padme team. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is all Relic 7 and Yeah. And it's it's uh it's a little disconcerting. Uh, and it, it makes sense. I've not seen the Malik uh, addition to this. Kenobi, yes. And then there's been some other uh, some other variations. But this is the first time seeing Malik on here. And, and you just think about Malik being on that team. Malik by himself is just nasty. <laughs> yeah. You add it to Ray, you know. And, and it's Kenobi working. And I, I, I was uh, it's, it's hearing working. reports. <laughs> yeah. I should get I should get a button for that on my uh, stream deck no. here for Anakin. It's working. <laughs> but uh, the reports I'm hearing from upper upper guilds is that this team right here with either Malak or I think some are also using L3 in this place is yeah. dang near unbeatable unless you're mirror matching it. Um, now we I we have a there. team to share with you that can beat it. Uh, but uh, a disclaimer on that is this team that Maul is using here is not full Relic 7 yet. It's close, but not full Relic 7. So, and this is also, yeah. you know what's the, the scariest thing about this to me, Ranger? You could probably guess what I'm about to say. The scariest thing yes, to I, me. I, I, I know what, what am I going to say? It's something called the ultimate ability. Maybe? There's no ultimate ability. We're, we're missing That's I, the and terrifying part about this. <laughs> it's just not terrible. This, this whole thing. <laughs> It, and you can see here that this team just got wrecked. But th this whole thing here is without this ultimate ability. All these people are struggling to beat Ray without the ultimate ability. So what do you, do you think that she's even going to be touchable once she has the ultimate ability? With another Kylo or Ray, I, I just can't see some of the teams out there that are just getting stomped right now, like Gas, Padme, Darth Revan. You know those kind of meta teams that we're used to right now. This is this is what's so different about this meta is that in previously like Gas, Darth Revan, eventually people because our community is amazing and they're smart and they will figure out what teams and modding and stuff to use. But right. when you look at Ray and you just look at some of the footage of just I just put it on auto and Gas got obliterated. I put it on auto and Darth Revan got obliterated. And we just saw what happened with a a decked out Ray team. So. And that, that Ray team, from what I, I've never heard this before, but from what I'm the reports I am hearing right now from the upper guilds for now is that they are stumped on how to counter this unless you're mirror matching it. Now, yeah. there may be hope, ladies and gentlemen. I want to show you this team right here. Uh, this is a big thank you, by the way, uh, for, uh, for Mall Pills, a uh, shard mate here, Storm Weave, who came up with this counter right here. He's using the traditional Darth Revan Bastila. Um, with uh, Malik, but then he's got Han in here to stun Finn and crew to soak up some hits And we'll show you the mods here real quick so you guys can have the transparency of the mods Of course is Darth Revan super fast um, He's got to pretty fast as well 
that's going to be important. Um, and then his Han, notably, only gear 12. Um, mm -hmm. Low speed. He's basically going to be there for that stun at the beginning of the match. Um, and then you've got a crew here, of course, uh, over 100,000 health right there. He's got his crew modded uh, almost exclusively for health. And then, of, of course, here's Malak. Um, right here, you can see how Malak is modded. But look at how this match unfolds. Oops, it started playing without us. Here we go. Oh, well, stop that, YouTube. Stop that. <laughs> All right, here we go. How dare you? <laughs> how dare you? So how here, are you doing? <laughs> so who do you think you stunned first? You got to go for Finn. We and 100%. We, you have to get Finn because he starts giving his buff away, you're in trouble. You know? yep. So, um, having Honshu first get the stun going, and I mean, the team concept looking at it and the way it's built, it's all about control. So, Ray it's used that lifeblood ability buffs. already. You can see 25% yeah. sucked up. She only needs to use it one more time and then she can start popping people. And so, a big yeah. part of this is going to be finding a way to manage Ray's turn meter. There, she used it again, and so we're, we're in trouble, right. And of course, yeah. she's immune to stun. No point stunning her. She's immune to those uh, percentage health. But you can get fear on everyone. So there you go. That's you help good. her, help manage her with the fear. And so you'll see here a lot of times he he will uh, choose to get shock out there to manage turn meter gain rather than uh, using other abilities. Yeah, and the taunt. Keep the taunts off the board because you don't want to be hitting Malik uh, because you're just gonna get like you see old Bassy down there feared like. <laughs> and then crew goes down. Oh no! Yeah, there's that sudden whirlwind. I mean, what can you do? What can you do about that? And and yeah, the scariest dude, part about this kit is she uses it, and then she can use it again. Yeah, just so over and over. You gotta just, get. So right now they're they're just desperately get trying to get that fear on her. Oh, that she, she cleansed herself, and then is it smart play there? Keep Hove stunned. He's got three characters. He, he stays away from Malik. You don't want to be getting him taunting. You can tell, uh, by the way, big, big, huge props to, uh, I think it was Stormweave was his name. Yes. The attack strategy on this video is inspiringly oh, good. Like he, You could tell every move is helping him. It's just really just smart. Really smart. Yeah. You know, sometimes, and then with Malik taunts, I mean, it just... It's a pain in the butt. And man. that's why Malik is there, just to throw everything off. And he's successfully yeah. doing it. You want to keep some shock on him. All right, there we go. We got that death mark. And I swear, tell me, I, I say this all the time. I swear to you, death mark hurts you more than it helps you on that Darth Revan team. It, it, sometimes it does. It can be a hindrance because yeah. you're, you, you're like, you've got a couple characters you could take out and you're like, oh no. Yep. You know, so you need that AOE from HK47. <laughs> yeah, 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 that AOE. <laughs> sure that the damage goes in. And look at, at that. at least have shock on. Look at how much damage just does not come off Ray. Her max health is no, ridiculous. She is, she is, she is, she's a monster. I mean, again, this is not a fully relic out team without the ultimate ability. Yep. So, so. he's not using the second special there because remember, Ray can't, uh, she won't take damage from percentage health effects. And boom, there, they got Ray out. There it is. Now it's it's even Steven. And now he's got the advantage because you've got Revan and you've got, you know, and this is where you see once Ray is off, this becomes an entirely different matchup. So do but. you think, uh, watching this footage here, do you think this is a viable Ray counter? I, I think a lot of people. Um, are using Chewbacca in this team. Uh, that sounds yeah. to be pretty pretty freaking OP. I think there's some other combinations. This is, from what I have been told from a lot of upper guild uh, observations, this team is the most terrifying to deal with on from a defensive perspective. Some people would say Chewie might be it. Do you think this is viable? It's viable depending on the level of the ray. Yeah. Mods. This wasn't a Relic and, 7 Ray. This was a Relic 4 Ray. Right. See, that there's there's caveats to this. Yeah. Like, if you're starting to right now and you're looking at it, yeah, I think it's it's pretty viable. It's a, it's a good control team with lots of stuns, things that you can manipulate and keep the taunts down so you can get in, in control where you can make your move for Ray. Right. Is it consistently going to be good? I don't know. Because I think Ray, once she's fully relic and with the ultimate ability, you know, I mean, we just saw that she was already in that stance. You know mm -hmm. that ultimate's coming, and when that right. hits, I mean, that's, it's game over. I mean, I think it has some viability, but again, we're all kind of scratching our head like... It's something to try. Do? I think when, when we look at the, yes. vi uh, as we as we record this video, what I'm thinking is I just want to give people some ideas of something, anything they can try um, to, to work on this if you're running into it. 
it's at least at a minimum worth a try i think good enough to at least give it a try so anyway ranger i want to thank you for joining me for this video um yes. it's been a while since we worked together uh t tell everyone where to find you yep you can find us on youtube and twitch reality skewed gamers um we cover star wars galaxy heroes a ton we stream live a ton you dabble um, in battlefront uh do battlefront i've yep. done battlefront in a little while but uh we do that we do other games too like we're, we're covering the new dlc of borderlands and we play other fun games we, we run a DD campaign on twitter on youtube on sundays Sweet. star wars edition so yeah a lot of fun <laughs> stuff on the channel and videos that we do just uh keep the community happy and engaged love it yeah and i i gotta thank you guys for what you do um i i have to i want to tell everyone if you're not familiar with rsg rsg has been around since well before i even made my first youtube video and you guys have been a consistent force in this community covering the game um complaining about the game praising oh, the game yeah. uh, and everything in between and i think that rsg is is one of the one of the best parts of this community and so i i, I just want to thank you guys in this video for what you do i think it's great well, thank you uh, thank you for, for, for allowing me to be on. And uh, just a real quick shout out. We're also gamers for cancer. I know with the yeah. coronavirus right now, that's kind of got lost. And unfortunately, you know, we do the, the half marathon every year at Disney World, right? We're gamers for cancers. We work with the ACS. That got canceled, but we're still fighting the fight for cancer. We'll Good. get back into that more once we get past this crisis that we're all facing. Make sure you wash your hands. That's all I got to say. But Wash uh, your hands. Yeah. All right, here you we, here we go. I, I got a message here. I got a message here. Let's see. Where is it? Uh -oh. It's it's on my on my deck here. Here's a message from the president. There we go. Wash your hands. <laughs> Wash your hands. All right, everyone. <laughs> that was a good impersonation. <laughs> Nobody knows galaxy heroes like me. I made Ray. I totally told the team. Listen, we need a character that's so overwhelming. We totally fail. <laughs> All right, I got nothing else for you guys. I'm going to roll the outro. Have a good one, Cubs fam. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And as always, my brothers, don't forget.